Hey guys, welcome back to Agatha Knife. We're with Sandro. Let's see what he thinks. I found this to use as a habit. Let me see. Dark with a hood in your stars. And it's elegant and mysterious, just what we needed. You guys are spot on. Cool. Take it, you'll need it. Is that it? Well, you got the carnivorous habit. We still got work to do. Is there much more to do? We're almost there. You're not trying to trick me, are you? Of course not. We've already got the guard, the sacred book, the sanctuary, and the habit. And the animals will soon be at the butchers. What's missing? The martyr of carnivorism. And we're back to this again. Sandra, I don't even know what a martyr is. The martyr of carnivorism must be willing to give their life to the great bleeding pig. To demonstrate to all other followers the true path of eternal happiness. That's to say, to make the farm animals trust you, and to make them believe what you said about carnivorism, one of them will have to be utterly convinced and be willing to give their life to the great bleeding pig without hesitation. I don't know how I'm going to do that, because at the farm none of the animals believed a word I said. They all want to see the demonstration I told you about first. That's precisely what we need the martyr for, to carry out the demonstration. Okay, so does the martyr have to be an animal? Maybe we could ask a person. <laughs> I don't think it would work for the martyr was a person. If it's an animal, it would be easy to convince the other animals. Okay, I'll have to go back to the farm and see if I can convince any of the animals. See you. Agatha? You what? Nothing, just... I just wanted to say that you're doing really well. I'm sure that soon the animals won't be scared of you. And everything will start going well at the butchers. I hope so, because my mum is getting desperate. I will be fine, so see? Because you are... Agatha Naff, the awesome prophetess of carnivorism. Well, thanks, I guess. No problem, all the credit is yours and you're working hard. Okay, I'm going to the farm, see you later. Bye. Alright, another achievement. We're getting there, guys. Alright, they've moved. Any other animals around here to talk to? Oh, hi! You're a martyr we need. Hello, little pig. You again, what do you want? Why aren't you with the other animals? Because they left a wall that got to go to a carnivorism thing. Carnivorism. Carnivorism, carnivorism. What does it matter what it's called if it's all a lie? But it's not a lie. Of course it's all a lie. You just want to kill us, I know it. That's not true, I just want to help you be happy forever. Come to the demonstration at the sanctuary, and the great bleeding pig and I will show you how it's done. No thanks, I don't want my throat slit. Besides, if the pig existed, it wouldn't be necessary to go somewhere to see him. Isn't he supposed to be a god? Well, he can come and explain all this nonsense right here. Hey, I've got an idea that you're going to love. What? She wants to be the martyr of carnivorism. What's that? The martyr of carnivorism is a very important and brave animal. They believes in the great bleeding pig and sacrifices his life to show the other animals that they don't need to be scared of being turned into meat. And the best part is the martyr will be the first to achieve eternal happiness after death. What do you think? Sounds cool, right? Well, no, it sucks. Oh. You think I want to go to your butcher so you can turn me into ham on my first birthday? That's your birthday today? Yes. Well, why don't you come to the sanctuary and celebrate with your friends? That way, the great bloody pig congratulates you and gifts you eternal happiness. I already told you, I'm not interested in any of that rubbish. I don't believe in any of it. It's not rubbish. Oh, really? In that case, if he exists, the pig can come and wish me happy birthday right here. And make sure he brings something to drink. I've got a hell of a thirst on. If he comes, I'll be the martyr of carnivorism. Well, where's the fat bloody pig of yours, huh? Where is he? Because I can't see him. Huh. You made it all up. Do you really not want to be the martyr of carnivorism? Okay, so we need to get the fat, the fucking pig to him. How the fuck are we gonna do that shit? Any other animals that are left behind? Or is it definitely gonna be that pig? That pig seems way too convenient. No, it's just him. So the question is, what the fuck do I do? to get the pig here. One sec, guys. I've got a hell of a thirst on, and I need to get a drink. It's probably flat, but I just need a drink. Yeah, that was gross. Don't know how long that war's been there. Maybe a month. Probably gonna die somewhere. Ugh. All right. Should we tell Sandro? Is she anything interesting to say? Good. She doesn't. That keeps our options minimal. I wanted to go in the circus still, but it won't let me. 
Oh, yeah. Thanks to your recipe, the Zoom cooks machine. Makes Andalite meatballs with the essence of fine savannah herbs and baby wildebeest blood reduction. I know this is as good as the ones you make, but the kids like them. Fantastic, I'm so happy. I can't tell you how happy it makes me knowing my kids can enjoy my meatballs. Thank you so much for helping me. Oh, I got an achievement for that. That's awesome. No, Sandro. Um, we've got to convince him. Mm, let's go to the butchers and see if we can figure something out today. Sandro, stop fucking tripping balls and just take us there, please. Sandro is always fucking tripping balls. Fucking weirdo. Are they all going to be here then? No, they're not here yet. Oh shit, how are we going to fucking... How are we going to get the Great Bleeding Pig to appear to that fucking... Maybe the burger bar can help? Maybe they have a Great Bleeding Dog that we can use as just a dummy? I don't it's worth a shot, right? The manga shop isn't going to help me. Those kids are just still playing, but the kids are probably dead. Let's be honest with you. They're probably just fucking literally dead, and all we're seeing is their death throes. Because they haven't eaten for like a day. And they're doing strenuous exercise. Right, here we go. So, I'm going to try the burger ball very quickly. Who's this guy? Who's this guy? Do you want something? You're eating a dog. What do you mean? Like I said, you're eating a dog. That burger is made from dog. Oh, I didn't know that dog meat tasted so good. Are you the cook? No, I'm the town butcher and I refuse to believe that burger tastes good. I'm telling you, it tastes great. Do you want a bite? No thanks. But if you keep eating, you'll end up like that guy at the back. He died from eating one of these burgers. Aren't you afraid? Nah, he's not. Nah! In my club, we don't worry about that sort of thing. What's this about a club? I've got a bikers club. The grandchildren of antipathy and every day three members die. So we're used to seeing things like what just happened to that guy. They die because they eat dog burgers? Nah, they die because their dog dodgy stuff happens in the club. And then one member starts fighting with another member and things get real quick. This morning, for example, one of them forgot to iron the leather jackets. And that's not cool because they get so creased that you couldn't see the logo properly. So one member got angry, pulled out his gun, and he shot the other one. That's just how it is. Couldn't he have forgiven him by forgetting to iron him? Nah, it's easier just to kill. Aren't you scared that you'll do something wrong one day and those members will kill you? When you're part of the Grand Children of Antipathy, there's no place for fear. Besides, the club is the most important thing for us. And we join willingly to sacrifice everything. Sounds like a religion. Do you have a god, a sacred book, and that sort of thing? Nah, as you mentioned it, we do have something similar. For many of us, my great-grandfather is like a god. He left his ideas for us in a manuscript, and now we're following his advice to try and make our club the best in the world. Did your great-grandfather write in the manuscript that you had to kill the one who forgets to do the ironing? No, that's an appendix one that I added a few years later. Right. Okay, guys. I'm going to try and figure out what to do off camera. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back here. I've talked to everyone in town and there seems to be nothing there. I found- pick up this bucket, so I'm thinking the bucket is for something, but I can't get water out the well because I need something else. I'm gonna reach the bottom of the well, so I need some rope or something. There's gotta be something here. One thing I was looking at is, this barn here looks like a pig, so I'm assuming we have to make this be the Great Bleeding Pig, but I'm not really sure how. I haven't pressed this button before, maybe this is- maybe it's just this. Did that do anything? No, it didn't do anything. Fuck. Alright. Oh, I can move this. Okay, this is new as well. That's good. This is something new, finally. After walking around for 20 minutes. Rope. There is rope. Grab the rope. Okay, we got rope. What's this? I'll ever connect some cables on a panel of little lights. Maybe this will change the bond? I'm not strong enough to move the leather. Okay, so we put the water in the bucket with the rope. We then use the water-filled bucket to weigh the thing down. That's what we have to do. 
So we're literally going to make a fake break bleeding pig to scare the, the other pig into being a martyr. Which is pretty morbid, really, if you think about it. The bucket is from Agatha's room, by the way. I just picked it up when I was wandering around. I didn't know what. I just found I could interact with it, so I took it. We've got a bucket of water we can put in our pockets now. Perfect. Alright, and then we go in here. Blah, blah, blah. Back down here again. And then we can hang the bucket on the thing, I reckon. And that'll allow us to open it. There. Perfect. Did that work? Do I have to do anything with this? Did that work? I don't know if that worked. That might have failed. I uh, maybe I should leave the bucket on there? I don't know. We'll find out in a minute. Alright. Ah, oh, guys. 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 I just realised. The pig needs eyes. Can I, can I do something up here to get the eyes open? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. If I open these two things, that makes eyes, and I think I've done it. I think I might have fucking solved it, guys. Holy shit. Be so good if I have. Oh my god, this has taken nearly three hours, this recording session, for less than two videos right now. Holy shit. It was like playing games are easy. It's not. It's like a big wooden wheel. Hang on a second. Huh. To me, does this stable look like a big's head? Yes, it does. It's like the face of a giant pig. With ears and everything. Hello, little pig. You again. What do you want? I tell him that Barney's the head of the great bleeding pig. The god of carnivores must come to speak to you. What are you talking about? Look at the bun. What's wrong with it? It looks like the face of a giant pig. It's got eyes, ears, and a snout. Can you see? And he's pink like you. Well, a little bit, yeah. You're a bit obsessed, aren't you? Why? All you do is talk about meat, blood, and carnivorism thing. And now you're telling me you see a pig's head on the front of the barn. You're not right in the head. I'm just an insomniac. There's nothing wrong with me. Okay, whatever. Now let you rest and go somewhere else to do your things, please. Let's see if he'll drink this. It's worth a shot, right? Hey. What's happening now? Have you found your pig god yet? Huh. Yes, and he gave me a bottle of a special carnivorous liquor to toast you and you celebrate your birthday. He said you should try it and hope she like it. This is all I had to do the whole time. Are you trying to poison me? No. And he says if you drink it, I'll come and speak to you. Of course. That's how I met him. Just after I took a swig of that cocktail, the great bleeding pig appeared. And he told me all about carnivorism. Whatever you say. And he passed me that liquor, I want to see if it tastes like. Oh, he's going to drink it. That's so good. This liquor's pretty good. Tastes great, right? Yeah. But I took a big swig. I don't want to drink anymore. I know what I'm like. Here, take your bowl. What the fuck is going on? Is, 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 is she doing the thing that Sandra does? What are you doing? Connect you with your... What was it called? Oh, uh, yeah. Your dormant, dormant imaginarium. My what? The Dormant Imaginarium. Is everything black? No, I'm seeing double and your head is about twice the size it was before. Are you sure you haven't drugged me? No. Ah. And what about the fat bloody pig? Where's your god? I thought you said he'd come if I drank some of that booze. Yes, but I don't know. I knew it was all a load of rubbish. Anyway, thanks for the drink, but I'm staying here. Bye. Right. For fuck's sake. Everything I do goes wrong. All right. Will this work? Oh, this is, that is working. The bond looks all like a pig's face now. Maybe the effect of that awesome cocktail will help. That's me saying, when I tried the cocktail, I met the great bleeding pig. Although Sandra used slim shot shamination for that. I don't know if I hope this works, because I can't think of anything else. Please work, come on. I think it's working. Hello? 
yes, it's me. Thank you, yes. Hey, thank you so much, big blood. Oh, sorry, great bleeding pig. Got a carnivorism. Court seems to be working. Yes, sorry, I thought it was a really big lie. I thought humans only white animals, they could eat them. But if you say this girl can be trusted. Yes, sorry, I get the sorry. I get the night. Prophetess of carnivorism, of course. It won't happen again. Can I ask you something, great bleeding pig? It's true that by following carnivorism, us animals can be happy forever. Oh. Seriously? Then first we have to be turned into meat, like she says. That's right. Of course, now I believe completely in you and Agatha. Of course, I want to join and be able to achieve eternal and absolute happiness. That would be amazing. The prophetess asked me before, and now I think I'm ready. I'll go to the sanctuary and tell all my friends what the prophetess told us is true. Yes, yes. Don't worry, great bloody pig, I won't ever doubt again. I will give my flesh and I'll do whatever is asked of me. For eternal life and for Agatha. It's me that should give thanks for the opportunity to the martyr of carnivorism. Goodbye. I'm not really sure how, but we have a volunteer who wants to die for carnivorism. The little pig who didn't trust me now says he wants to give his life. He left so fast, I couldn't tell him how to get to the butchers. I hope he knows where to go. Cool, it's done. We should go and tell Sandro. I'm heading back to Sandro now. We're definitely gonna finish this today, guys. We're gonna fucking finish this today. Sandro? Oh, fuck. Are you hiding again? There's a note here for us. Something's gone wrong. The Sacred Book of Carnivorism. There's a note on top. It says, Her HHD, I can show you a completely religion creation course. During your quest, you have assembled all the necessary elements to create your own religion, carnivorism. Only the most important part remains, but you have to face that on your own. You must now make use of all the elements so that carnivorism becomes reality. And your animals give themselves freely to your knives without fear, just as you wished. To achieve that, you must now carry out the demonstration we talked about on a number of occasions. I bookmarked the sacred book where it explains the carnivorous ritual. All the steps you must take to make the ritual a success are outlined there. I've rewritten it so that you can understand what you wrote without any problems. I've also left your lectern on the table and some candles and a lighter. Take it all, you need it for the ritual. From here on I won't be able to help any further, but I'm sure you'll be fine without me. I don't know if we'll meet again, but I want to tell you that you've been a great student and I really enjoyed working with you. I'm sorry I wasn't able to say goodbye in person, but I had to solve a problem I was having with a workmate and had to leave in a hurry. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the course as much as I did. And you'll see how everything starts to go well from here, and you'll be very happy. Well, that's it. Take care, blessings, good night, and farewell. Sandra, the awesome master of divinations. Oh, she's sad. Aw, Sandra was cool. I'm gonna miss him. You're an awesome magician, I'm sure you can hear me, so... I want to tell you that I had a great time creating carnivorism with you two. It was really cool. If you come to the butchers one day, we'll give you a good discount. I'll take the things you've left me and go to the sanctuary now. I'm sure all the animals will have arrived and the farm will be waiting for me. Let's hope the ritual goes well. Well, that's all. Take care and thanks for your help, Sandro. Signed, Agatha, the prophetess of carnivorism. I knew you were listening to me. I want this. He said I should take the lectern too. Oh, I want, the, I want the cushion and the candles, right? And the lighter. Okay, so now we have everything, right? Let's go. I really have to run all the way- why did they just teleport you here? Like, no, I don't want to go back to the main menu. Fuck off. Jesus Christ. I'm having such bad luck today, guys. I'm clicking all the wrong things. Puzzles are taking me fucking d hours to solve. But I feel we're on the home straight now. Probably. <sighs> Sorry for yawning, everyone, by the way. I don't mean to bore anyone. I'm just really fucking exhausted. I thought I'll finish this in an hour, but no. It's coming up to three and a half now. 
actually, holy shit. This is where I missed something and it's gonna be like, oh, you have to go all the way back. I probably did, knowing my fucking luck. Let's go and see what happens anyway. Oh, shit. Why are the lights off? Mum, what are you doing on the floor? Mum! Oh, child, thank God you've arrived. We have the light. Why have you why have you, why have you turned off the lights? I didn't turn them off. The electricity company cut off for not paying the bills. Okay. And why are you sat on the floor? Because a moment ago a pig came running through the door shouting and it scared me half to death. I thought he was going to eat me or attack me but he kept on running. And joined the other animals in the back room that arrived earlier. So they're all in the sanctuary? No, no, in the back room, the abattoir. What sanctuary are you talking about? Never mind. Are you sure? I don't understand. I don't know what you've done, Agatha, but I'm scared. Don't worry, I'll go and speak to them now. By tomorrow all these animals will be made into burgers if all goes well. Well, do what you need to do, but be careful with that crazy pig. He'll do take a chunk out of you if he bites you. Otherwise, she's just like, just be careful, it'll be fine. It'll work out. Look at that pig. She survived! There weren't this many animals at the farm, were there? We had some spare tickets, so we gave them to some friends from another farm. That's not a problem, is it? No, no, it's cool. Okay, but where's the pig god? Yeah, didn't you say the big pig pig would be here? Don't pester the prophetess, please. What's going on with you and that girl? She called Agatha Knife, respect her, and the rage of the pig god will rain down upon you. Or... I don't get it, man. Before we left the farm, you said you weren't going to come because you didn't trust her. That she was a liar, that this carnivore or something was a trap so she could kill us. And now you're saying that we should do everything she tells us to? Because the big bleeding pig said so? He's called the great bleeding pig. I've changed my voice completely to differentiate from you guys. If you don't stop with your blasphemy, there'll be no place for you inside him. Isn't that right, prophetess? I don't know, we'll take a look in the sacred book later, but first, we're going to do something so that you're not afraid to be turned into delicious meat. Are you going to do the demonstration you told us about? Yes. I'm so excited right now. Huh. Come on, let's get on with it. I want to meet the god of carnivorism. I think we can get started. Providence of carnivorism will be dressed in red. And a solemn welcome to all the future followers we'll receive from her. I guess I need to put the habit on. Boyd! This is gonna start now or what? Hang on a second. It looks cool, right? It looks cool, right? It looks great, Miss Prophetess! You're an ass kisser! Shut up, heretic! Right, what next? The Providence of Connors will be dressed in red, and a solemn welcome all the future followers will receive from her. Um. What's she doing? Animal friends, thank you all for coming to the sanctuary. I, Agatha Knife, the Providence of Carnivorism. I'm going to teach you all about how the dying and being happy after thing works. We're going to do a ritual together, okay? Oh yes, the ritual! That's what the great bleeding pig said he needed me for! So you were serious when you said you'd seen the great bleeding pig? Of course. He came to the farm after it all left, and he wished me a happy birthday, and he shared with me a delicious carnivorous cocktail. No way! I'm telling the truth, you had to believe me. But above all, you had to believe Agatha, the prophetess, because everything she said was true. The great bleeding pig told me. I was scared of being killed and eaten, aren't you? I understand how you feel. You fear the day that a truck takes you to any old butchers. Where they carve you up without showing any compassion. And everything turns to black. Where you can't see. Where you can't hear. Where you can no longer feel. Give it a rest, man. You'll be dead. Forever. You're creeping me out! But, brothers and sisters, it doesn't need to be that way. Agatha and the Great Bunny Pig want to give us a beautiful carnivorous death. So that we can attain a happiness that is both eternal and absolute. That's right. Are you so sure about that? Well, Agatha says it's true. Why don't you let him kill you? That's right, didn't you say you weren't scared? I will willingly die to show you the way to eternal happiness. When the prophetess so desires it. All in good time. Excellent. Next up. With awesome nectar at his feet, his radiant body he will take. The great bleeding pig has decided to speak. Uh. 
Um, I have no idea what to do with this. With awesome nectar. Ah, uh, here we go. This is working. Oh shit, this is gonna be really fucked up, isn't it? There's no blood left in the bottle. With awesome nectar, his feet, his radiant body he will take. The great bleeding pig has decided to speak. Well, why isn't the Great Bleeding Pig speaking? With awesome nature at his feet, his radiant bloody he will take. Do I have to kill him? I'm, I'm doing my best, Agatha, but um, none of this is working. I feel I might be doing wrong things in the wrong way, but I don't know, to be honest with you. I feel it wouldn't let me do it if it wasn't meant to happen, you know what I mean? I'm going to ask the Great Limp here to come to the Sanctuary. Seriously? Yes, but I think he needs to use your body. That'd be an honour for me, Agatha. Cool, I'll call him now. I'm ready. Hope I haven't fucked this up. Great Bleeding Pig, God of Carnivorism. I don't know if you can hear me, but... Well, I've marked the martyr with blood and some candles. The animals can't wait to meet you. You can come and join the ritual when you please. About time! Is he really gonna come? Shut up, you're making me nervous! Oh shit, he's coming. Oh fuck. Oh fuck! Look at their faces of the animals. They're fucking shit scared. The rabbit at the back is shit scared. Hey, is this really you? But Sandra told me you weren't. Well, that were you part of carnivorism, like the book and all that, but you weren't. I guess the Blake Bidding Pig is real. That's the twist here. Yes, yes, the same as when I met you, although much smaller. But then. Yes. Okay, cool. I peed myself. Was that... Was that the voice of the great bleeding pig? I don't understand a word of what he said. I hope he isn't angry. Looks like these animals have some doubts about carnivorism. I've invited them all to the sanctuary so I can meet you and you can show them. How they can be happy after dying can be made into meat. Yes, yes, I've explained to them lots of times what you told me. The thing is, they're the same details I don't remember. Some of these I don't remember well, and suppose they're important to help the animals not be scared. Just a minute ago, yes. He told them more or less the same as I did, and it made no difference, so... It would be cool if you could help me convince them to have faith in carnivorism. Okay. I'm on it. Let's see. You saw how your friend was speaking weirdly and blood was coming out of his eyes, right? Yes! Well, that's because a great bleeding pig has entered his body. The god of carnivorism is here with you all now. He just told me that he's going to help with the ritual, so that you can see carnivorism is real. Yes. He says that before going any further, he wants to tell you something. But! We don't understand the carnivorous language! Don't worry, I'll translate. Whenever you're ready, great bleeding pig. Listen carefully, unbelievers. Agatha, is anyone that can give you eternal and absolute happiness through a carnivorous death, like she did for me? What? Agatha killed the great bleeding pig? I don't remember that. It was many years ago, at the same farm that most of you have come from. The Allen family farm? It's the one she hugged to death. That got really dark really quick. Yes, I was just a piglet. And it was nearly time for me to be taken away by the meat truck. I was fearful of the day because I, like you, didn't want to die. 
But one day Agatha entered the barn, saw me smiling, took me softly in her arms. No one has ever shown me so much love as that little girl with blue hair showed me that with that hug. Thanks to her, my fear disappeared. Oh my god, this is fucked up. And although the hug was so intense that I suffocated and died, while my conscience started to fade into the abyss, I soon knew that to die in her arms was the best thing that could have happened to me. I'm happy here. Here? Sorry, Grim and Pig, but where's here? Where are you now? On her insides. Inside her? Yes, inside Agatha. Whoa! I can't feel a thing. After choking me to death in this world with her hug, Agatha ate me whole. And in her stomach, I discovered the purest happiness I could ever have imagined. Forget your fear and trust in me. Give yourselves to carnivores and I'll share this happiness with all of you. Let Agatha show you the way. Sacred tears upon the new believers will fall. Can I gather the blood from him? Uh, can I gather in this? Okay, so I need to stab him. Here we go. Was that true? I killed you with a hug and then ate you? No, I think my mum mentioned it recently. I don't remember anything. Sorry I didn't mean to hurt you. But you were really inside me? Are you happy? Cool. Well, I hope this doesn't hurt you too much. And don't let the martyr's pig suffer, please. Okay. Thanks for helping me, Great Bleeding Pig. She's got the knives out! At last, we're gonna see it! Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. Is he dead? Looks like it. It's full again. Here we go. Your friend the pig martyr was possessed by the great bloody pig god of carnivorism before he died. Got some of his blood here. I'm going to sprinkle some on you, okay? And what's that for? Don't question Agatha. That's right. So I didn't mean to offend Miss Prophetess. Don't worry. The blood is part of the ritual. In the sacred book of Connorism, it says the sacred tears must fall upon you. So it's the great bleeding pig was crying and his tears are falling on you. Is he crying because he's sad? What are you talking about? Didn't you hear what he told us before? The great bleeding pig cries is our pure happiness. Oh, of course. I already understood that. Okay, here I go. my fucking god. A little bit over here. And for you as well. Ready. I feel cool. Me too. It's as if I don't know it's cool. And the sacred blood smells great, right? Yes. Finally, in the insides of the prophetess is where you all want to be. The part of eternal happiness will finally be unveiled. Do I eat? Yeah. Your friend wasn't scared of me and he gave his life and body to carnivorism. Thanks to him I can show you the part of eternal happiness that only I can give you. Oh Jesus Christ. Look at his hat. Oh my god, look at his smile. Look, the martyr pig is smiling. Yes, now he's happy. Of course, now he's with the great blooding pig thanks to Agatha. Now I'll be happy forever. I want the same, Agatha. And me! Please take me too. Hey, me first! This is fucked up, really. 
<laughs> All these dumb animals just getting fucked over kind of here. Is that it? There was a pig with sunglasses on smiling in the window. It's been a few days since we did the ritual, and life is good. We've renovated the store, the lights are back on, the phone has been reconnected. We paid Nick's aunt who we owed her, and the store is full of the best meat and customers. The new burgers have been so successful, the girl from the burger restaurant places a new order every day. Everything is awesome. Thanks to carnivorism, I've learned so many things on this course. And now I'm a master of faith and religion. I know what a god is and how to make one. And I've got a sacred book that makes no sense. And I've set up sanctuary in the butchers. My religion is so cool. Oh, and the most important thing of all, my animals aren't afraid of me anymore. The ritual worked, they trust me now. They all want me to kill and eat them. Oh, seems like the great pudding pig wants a new friend. Anyway, I'm gonna spread some happiness, because I am. Agatha knife. That was fucking awesome. A nice little adventure. It was really cheap, by the way. I can't remember how much it cost, but it was it was really affordable. And for what it was, that was a cute little adventure game that I really enjoyed playing through. So, um, I'm happy with that, guys. I hope you enjoyed. It's made by Mango Protocol here, who I think are a Spanish studio. Very small studio, obviously. That's it. Very good game. Um, they have another game called Mecha Nikki, which I might play at some point, but I will try and find another adventure to start really soon that's just as messed up as this one. I really like that sort of thing, you know? Anyway, thanks for watching everyone, I'll see you really soon for more video games and stuff, and I'll give this a solid 7 out of 10, I enjoyed it. See you later guys, bye for now.